Northrop author of the new book, Money, A Love Story, and as part of the launch of this baby, what I'm doing is interviewing some people who I love and respect about their money love story. Money is such a taboo topic in our culture, and the more we talk about it in public in a loving, conscious way, the more people will be inspired to have that kind of relationship with money. So that's what we're up to here, and this is my really good friend, Ofi Edut, and she is one of the co-founders, co-creators of astrostyle.com. She and her identical twin sister, Tali, are amazing astrologers, they're authors, their new book, Mom Astrology, is coming out in April. And you can sign up for their free amazing horoscopes that come out on Monday. They're quite thorough. Astro <laughs> Astrostyle.com. So. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks for coming on my show or whatever this is. Um, tell me, what did you learn and witness and experience around money growing up to start off with? Well, my grandparents were actually Holocaust survivors wow. who had been wealthy in Europe and then lost everything. Wow. So my grandfather, he was good with money, but he was very frugal and, and all about moderation, mm -hmm. which was good in some ways, but it was also like the save it for a special occasion mentality, yep. you know, so like the good underwear, the good plates always get saved kind yeah. of thing. Um, and then my dad is an immigrant from Israel uh -huh. who learned English from Sesame Street when he came here right before wow. I was born. Yeah. And so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so he's like a real bootstrapper. Mm -hmm. So I got some of that from him. So I've been working since I was about, oh, I don't know, eight years old. My wow. sister and I always had businesses. Uh -huh. We had a calligraphy business. We had oh, cool. dog walking, paper route, uh -huh. name it. We did it. Wow. And we've always worked together. So Always? Yeah. That's very mm -hmm. cool to have a partner like that. Yeah. Yeah. I say I was born married, so. <laughs> Which is good, <laughs> really though. Like, funny. I think that some of the reasons I've been able to get as far as I have with stuff is because I always had someone else. Yeah work that's with. really beautiful yeah and so tell me if you've been working you know since you were eight and you know I know you work very hard you're always up to something really cool um, she just did this um, retreat in Tulum and it's really that's awesome um, what what is it that drives you what is money f what is money about for you like what what does it mean to you it means freedom for mm -hmm. me you know I'll work my bought off for, you know, 80 <laughs> hours a week if it's for yeah. my own thing that I love. Yeah. Like cool. I've always been afraid of going to jail and being trapped in a boring job. Not Why would you go to jail? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I don't know. That's, I have no reason that's to go interesting. to jail. So you think, that was you always think something about, I thought like, about as a kid. Huh. It kept me straight, you know. Kept you on the straight and narrow because yeah. you want your freedom. Mm -hmm. That's cool. <laughs> She's very Sagittarian. Yeah, um, totally. Yeah, so uh, and my dad, you know, he worked for like a shipping and loading place and did his own landscaping business on the side. And then mm -hmm. he lost his job when I was 15. It was a little bit of a crisis. And yep. then he just went out and started his own business and had a landscaping company for 25 years. Wow. And I worked with him most So summers. you saw yeah. him as an entrepreneur. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you kind of knew that that was an okay way to go to run your own thing and to have that freedom. Yeah, he would always say, eh, whatever you do, don't work for anybody else if you don't have to. Okay. So, so that was in my head too. Big time. Even though I went to the University of Michigan, started my own magazine when I was there and then made it national and sold oh it gosh. to another company. It's amazing. In my 20s. Yeah, but that was just what was normal. To right, me. that was, that was your normal. Working for someone else was not normal. It's totally so. weird. Yeah. 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 And over the years, what have, what's been like a challenging moment for you around money? Um, and, then, and then what did it teach you about yourself or, you know, mm -hmm. life in general? Well, let's see. I mean, I think just trusting that it will keep showing up. Yeah. You know, I have to generate it myself every time. Yeah. And um, also with this magazine I started in college, we somehow convinced a bank to give us like a $90,000 line of credit. Nice when I was 21, which is probably a bad idea. So, <laughs> you know, I've had many sleepless nights. Yeah. Like, oh, no, what have I done here? So, yeah, but it's always worked out. Cool. In those moments, you know, because no matter how successful you become, like there are still those moments oh, and God, they yeah. just, the details change kind of <laughs> like, oh, yeah. like, you know, it's that upward spiral where you're still learning the same things, but at a higher level. Mm -hmm. What do you say to yourself? Like, what do you do in those moments of fear or anxiety or doubt? Um, I, I have a Stevie Wonder song I like to play. Really? Don't worry about a thing. Oh, that's Just, awesome. I think music Don't can change. Don't you worry about a exactly. thing. Exactly. <laughs> yep. 
I, I turn on the soundtrack. Uh -huh. um, I do freak out, you know? Okay, cool. Sometimes I just let it happen. Yeah. I call my sister, of course. Nice. We have our financial wizard business advisor that we do a, a meeting with every other week. Great. Who, you know, I just, I use all the tools. I've done every transformational workshop and class you can imagine. Uh -huh. And sometimes I don't use the tools and I just have my freak out, but yeah. I always have a book I can read or yeah. something. To, it doesn't last forever. I love that you have a theme song for tough times. <laughs> I think that's really genius. <laughs> It's really I, well, great. I also go to karaoke too because yes. I think it's impossible to feel upset, worried, or unhappy <laughs> while you're singing 80 songs into a, in a Japanese private booth. That's so amazing. Disco lights. Yeah. You know? I, was yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's my it's experience so anyway. It's been my <laughs> As you know, because we've done this together. Know, we have before. done it together, and it yes. is cathartic. It is. Wow. I mean, I really do recommend that, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and then for you, as you're growing your business, you've got a new book coming out. I know you've got more in you. Um, retreats, an online course that you're teaching with Hay House called Becoming Your Own Astrologer, which looks really exciting. I took it. Awesome. And um, what's the next frontier for you? What's your growth edge when it comes to money? I'm working on more passive income. You know, it's, oh, cool. we write for L.com and other places, but you know, the publishing industry is what it is and I don't want to be dependent on anybody. Yeah. So I'm doing a lot of digital downloads. I'm yeah. doing the big 2014 guide, cool. eBooks for every sign, you know, um, our app. I'm just yeah. you know, trying, to, trying to do more of that model. Cool, for more freedom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very smart, mm -hmm. I love that. Cool. Thank you so much for oh, sharing your story. You. And um, if you want to hear more money love stories and just find out more about the book and this, this kind of conversation, um, you can head over to moneyalovestory.com and grab your copy of this one. And when you do that, you'll get access to a two-hour online event I'm teaching called A Course in Having Enough. And I'll have guest experts Marianne Williamson, Barbara Stanny, and Amanda Steinberg, who founded dailyworth.com. So go over there, get your book, and also check out Ophi and her sister Tali at astrostyle.com. Thank you so much Thank for sharing. You. I really appreciate it. Thank you.